All right, hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. Today, we are looking at this SSD um, recreation from uh, Andy Cine, or Andy Cine. Um, yeah, we wanna, you know, cut down the cost of the expensive uh, SSDs for the Ninja 5. This is the this is the standard SSD and when you stick it into the Ninja 5 which is which I have mounted here, um, I'll bring it down in a minute. You know, it sticks out and um, it's not a good experience. Apart from this guy sticking out, it's still a lot more expensive than what we're about to achieve here. So um, the Samsung T5, which is this guy, I probably got about 109 back in the days. I don't know if the price changed, I will check. But I'm about to convert this into an SSD right now. And basically we are gonna take a chip from this one, we're gonna put into this, and then we have a brand new SSD that is about the same size, portable. Okay, so, I am not a technical guy. I'm not, uh, I normally won't do any some sort of uh, uh, adjustment of self uh, manipulation on my devices, but this is, this is pretty much an affordable device to take the risk on. And um, the amount we're trying to save is pretty reasonable. So let's first of all look what, find out what comes in the bag. Some tiny screws. This should be the board controller where we insert the circuit into. It comes with your own screws too inside. All right. The actual package, like the side A and the side B. So, ah, I'm nervous, but I'm already here. This is really tough. This is really tough. I'm happy this company did it. You know, because if uh, Angelbird discovers this themselves, they probably bring it at 600. For the compatibility, for the size and portability, we probably want to go for it at some point. Anyway, 27 bucks or 26.99, we get this stuff like you know, hard metal, magnesium alloy. And lastly, we have this. Uh, I think it's some filler stuff like uh, you know coating that's got glue on it so that's all the items that comes in it uh, what you will need is um, this i don't know if this is the right tool but this is what i have hopefully it does the job <laughs> you know i don't know if it's strong enough um, a, a pair of scissors and Phillips screws i'm not sure if this is the mount but uh, if it's not the right size i have a, a set you know of adjustable mounts that i can always replace and get it right so and we're going to start with this one ah let's say a short prayer before we commence how did they do this do i have to scratch Mm -hmm. This is more like it. I'm in. That's not going back now. Looks like we need a smaller amount than this and more screws here. I was supposed to push from the side without the USB type C. I'm gonna use this as a help. Uh, here we go. Push and we are out. So now, 
So we have to take it apart. How do we do that? Guess we'll take this guy off too. Easy to take off. Nice. So it looks like we have to unscrew three points. Should be able to plug this guy out. Get a grip of it. Okay. We'll take this one out too. Looks like this will take care of everything. All right. Now we can take this guy off, I believe. I pull in. Oh, that was too much. So this this part we don't need. Um, keep this right here and get ready for the new board. Here we are, and I think it goes in here. And for it sideways, when you see these screws, you try to line these screws with it. So you stick it in here. going to place it down and screw them up. So the screws that come with with this uh, unit, you really need the magnetic screws. Otherwise, you'll be dancing around like I am right now. So these are new thermal pads. Time for the scissors. Let's cut it. Well, I hope I can do a straight cut. Sticking in there. Oh, I made a hole. There are extras though. Do I give up this one? I made a hole. What do I do? I think it's better I get another one. Okay, this is almost the perfect size. So just a little bit of trim. So now it's time to fix it in here. We're supposed to line it up. So we want to get our ports to line up. I think we should go like this. 
think this is pretty much how it should look. Oh, yes. Yeah. We need to cover up with one of these thermal parts. I can take this one and use, but we have an extra one. Let me see. Yeah, I think, I think I'll think i just cover with this one. No cut for this one. Fill up one side, stick it. Stick it there. Yep, that's it, we got it this, ooh, lost it again. Get it, yeah, we got it again. Oh no. Oh no, come on. If it gets back, if it sticks back, it's harder to get. All right, so let's, we did it. Yeah, let's get all the bubbles out. I hope we can get all the bubbles. I think we're good, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm glad I'm getting over it. I pray everything works as planned. I hope I haven't messed up something during my lousy coupling. Yeah, there's an arrow here. Yeah? that shows where to keep it so it should be like this in the direction of the pots okay something like this so let's get the screws now Linda. nice let's proceed to the next one and we're also good Looks good. And we have our device. The launch bus is ready. <laughs> Time for the big test. Uh, uh, click. Ah! I did it. It's nice and snug. Let's, let's pull it out. Okay. We're good. Now, do you know what? You see this place? You see the vents? Now, the, now this thing can breathe. The, the, the Ninja 5 should be able to breathe even better now with this device. You see that? A little bit more space for it to breathe. This is how the carriage should have been all along giving consideration to this fan. Oh my God, this is good, this is good. All right, let's turn it on and see if it recognizes it. Let's see, let's go to format. I'm gonna format this drive, uh, media, and it sees it, Samsung T5. <laughs> yeah, format. And it's done. Yay! Format is done. Now we're going to actually record with it. Okay, I pressed the record button already, so we're recording. So I'm going to stop and play back now. Let's stop. So we have a clip. Everything is working really good. Okay, that's it. We did it. One terabyte saved. Um, actually, 200 bucks saved. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know. Um, is this something you want to do? I'm good with this now. Maybe some other time if I do need more, I'll probably just do one more brand new convert it and I'm good. See you guys in the next one. Bye.